welcome guys to my new video right here in my hands i'm with a fivo phone a lot of you guys ask me a question in the comment section father joe please show us how to fix how to solve how to repair a full shot you may ask father joe what is a full shot a full shot is when positive is connected to the negative i mean the negative is connected to the positive the positive is connected to the negative it is reading continuity it is reading direct connection so that is what we call full shot right okay and i'm going to test it live here for you to see for you to see the proof that this phone is completely short it is short it is a full shot okay let me use my multimeter probe to connect negative to negative positive to positive right here you can see this is a full shot guys check this out this is a full shot it is reading negative the positive is reading negative is connected direct with negative with the ground so whenever i put battery and i try to on the phone it's not owning so today video i will show you how to fix a full shot a full shot circuit very simple so with that time wasted let me start the video engineer so let me remove the panel from the casing so you may ask father joe what causes full shot the number one cause of full shot is over voltage very, very important over voltage number two is frequency high frequency high frequency the number three cause of full shot is overheating if the phone overheats or waste then with that number your phone is overheating overheating at the end it will cause full shot engineer so right in my hands this is the panel of the phone have you seen this is the panel of the phone so i'm going to start the process now engineer so let me show you the best place that you can start to put your positive for the short separation right okay check this out so make sure you remove any protection right here you can see there is a protection here so i'm trying to remove it okay check this out engineers feel free to let me know if you have a question in the comment section feel free let me know ask me a question tell me father joe this or that right i'm going to answer your question okay right here you can see i just removed the protection now so check this out you can see the pins the battery connector okay so what i'm going to do now i will bring a battery with arms engineers right here this is the wire of the battery right so this is the positive and the negative so make sure you place the negative to the ground then you can use your tweezers to hold the positive check this out there is arms there's voltage and arms so here we go here we go have you seen this pack have you seen this pack have you seen the spark? Have you seen the spark? The circuit should be open now, but it's not still open. Have you seen the spark? Have you seen the spark? After trying so many attempts to open the circuit, it's not working. So the next thing is for me to hold the panel to feel the heat. So after holding the panel for some time, I did not feel any heat. So the next thing is for me to make attempt again to open the circuit. I will try again. I have to make sure i open the circuit engineers this time around i need to add more power so for me to do this i need to use my usb cable i'll plug it to a charger let me show you okay right here this is a 5 volt charger so i'll plug it to my 5 volt charger then here we have the output so i will connect the positive of the battery to the 5 volt charger positive then i'll connect the negative of the battery to the negative 5 volt charger check this out so with this the battery will get more power more arms so i will use the power to now try opening the circuit engineers if you have dc power supply you can use it right if you have dc power supply you can use it it works perfectly on dc power supply without so much stress so for me, this method will help a lot of engineers who do not have DC power supply. So check this out. I just connected it now. Okay, so let me spark it. Uh, you can see the blinking. You can see the spark. Okay. 
So the next thing now is for me to connect it to the phone panel. I want to make sure I do this phone, right? I want to make sure I fix this phone for the owner. Okay, check this out. I place it on the negative, which is the heat zinc. And here we go. Let me do the positive. Here we go. Check this out. Check this out, engineers. You can see, you can see the spark. You can see the heat up. You can see engineers have you seen? Check this out. Have you seen is burning? And I cannot even still detect the capacitor. I can't still even detect the capacitor. And the power is so much that it should open the circuit, but it's not opening. And I can't even detect the capacitor. And I hold the panel to few heats. There's no heat. Okay, I know what to do. Engineers, I know what to do. Check this out. This is the next thing that you have to do in order to fix this. I need to remove this copper. I need to remove this copper tape. Check this out. I need to take time to do this because I need to detect the capacitor. Engineers, one thing that you have to know when a phone gets short, do not remove any capacitor you see, right? Do not remove any capacitor you see. So let me try again. If not working, then I'll remove the copper. Have you seen? I've tried again. You can see. You, you can see the power. You can see the power. You can see the heat. But it's not still opened. So let me try another method. Check this out. I need to detect the capacitor. The capacitor is really, really strong. The shot is a full shot. Like I said, the shot is a full shot. It's very strong. So I need to remove the capacitor. I need to detect it. I need to check if there is any physical damage. Engineers, feel free to let me know your question if you have. So I'm going to remove this copper. I'm going to remove it. So I will take time to do it, engineers. I will take time to do this. Engineers, check this out. I'm working on it. Check this out. I'm working on it. Free, free to let me know your question. Okay, I'm done now. The next thing is for me to clean it. I need to use my chemical to clean it very well. Need to shake the panel to be sure there's nothing falling inside. Take time to do this, engineers. So let me use my chemical to clean it. Make sure you take time to do this, engineers. Take time to do this. Don't rush. Take time to do this, engineers. If you have questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section if you have. Engineers, I'm doing this so that when I connect the battery again to the phone, I will notice if there will be smoke inside the heat zinc, right? From there, I'll use it to detect a capacitor or diode that is not working, right? So you have to do this first. Do not start opening the heat zinc because this heat zinc is connected to the phone board. It is not the one or removable that you can easily carry it up then you see everything this one is laid to the phone panel engineers so check this out check this out i'm done let me use something to clean it let me use a uh, rug okay check this out make sure you do all of this right inside there you can see we have a capacitor there is a capacitor inside there and i will put pipes there I'll put pairs there so that the pairs will help me detect heat. Check this out. I'll put pairs. Let me bring pairs now. 
Let me bring paste. Okay, check this out. Okay. Make sure you put paste. Take time to do this, engineers. Have you seen? Have you seen? I just put paste on top of the capacitor. I want to detect if the capacitor is the problem. Okay, so now let me connect the battery. Let me connect the battery now. Here we go. Here we go. Let me connect the battery. Engineers, feel free to let me know your question in the comment section if you have. Don't forget to, sh to like, share this video to as many audience as possible. Okay, check this out. Just connected the negative now. So let me connect the positive. One, two, ready, go. Check this out. Right here, you can see the smoke. You can see the smoke. Let me connect again. You can see the smoke. Nothing is happening to the capacitor. Nothing is happening to the capacitor. The paste is not melt. The paste is not melt. Let me connect again. Uh -huh. Engineers, check this out. The paste is melting now. Check this out. There's, there's a smoke. Have you seen the smoke? Yes, yes. This is to prove that this capacitor is a problem of all this. This is to prove that this capacitor is the problem of all this. Engineers, ask me a question in the comment section. I want to see your question. Ask me a question in the comment section. This is the simplest way you can detect them. Very simple. Detect them. Let me put the paste again. Let me put the paste again. And do it. Check this out, engineers. Check this out, engineers. Check this out. Here we go. You can see the smoke. Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen the light? Have you seen? Engineers, feel free to let me know your question in the comment section. I'm done. The phone is working now. I've been able to detect the capacitor that was shorting the whole thing here in this panel. So I'm going to remove it. I'm going to remove it now. Engineers, trade this out. It's very simple. It's very simple to work all this phone. Like I said, this method applies to iPhones, buttons phone. Whenever I drop video, it works for every phone, except it is software issue. It works for every phone. Hardware issue works for every phones, right? Okay. I'm done. So let me remove the capacitor now. Let me remove the capacitor. Engineers. When you remove the capacitor, I recommend you replace the capacitor back. I recommend you replace the capacitor back. Okay? Check this out. You may ask, Father Joe, what are the tools needed so that I will know then use it to replace the capacitor? So you need BGA paste, which is the liquid lead paste. And you also need your rework station for for you to be able to fix the, the capacitor back very simple so engineers let me remove it there we go let me remove it you can check my tweezers because of the battery the spark bones the this thing but anyway still working nothing's wrong just because of the smoke okay so let me remove the capacitor now engineers check this out let me remove the capacitor now. Here we go. Engineers, you should be very, very careful so that you will not spoil the place. You should be very, very careful. There are other components, so you should be very careful not to destroy other components. Take time to do it. I will remove it very, very clean, very perfectly without spoiling any other thing. And check this out. It's not even peeling from the board. Check. This is the capacitor. The capacitor is not working. Engineers, I'm done with this phone. The circuit is now opened. I have detected the capacitor 
and remove it right so if you have question let me know in the comment section feel free to like this video share comment share this video to as many audience as possible if you're watching my video for the first time make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you'll be seeing more of my contents i have a lot of video to post so make sure you subscribe if you're watching me from facebook follow if you're watching me from tiktok follow in all of my social media instagram um twitter everywhere please follow so that you'll be seeing all of my content thank you so much i'm done with this video um later i'll replace the capacitor so that i will hand over the phone to the owner thank you guys for watching see you in my next video bye bye for now i love you all